Welcome to our video on determining shear modulus. Shear modulus, denoted by G, is the ratio of shear stress to shear strain. Shear stress is the force divided by the cross-sectional area. The shear strain is the displacement divided by the thickness. Here, we have the quad shear test specimen that we're going to use to find the shear modulus of our GC1280 polyurethane compound. The quad shear test method was chosen because it subjects the polyurethane to only shear loading. The sample is made up of four identical polyurethane blocks molded between rigid steel plates using a chemical bonding process. Each block is three inches long by three inches wide by three quarters of an inch thick. There are fillets along the bonded edges which prevent localized areas of high strain when the sample is tested. GC1280 is an MDI polyether polyurethane with a hardness of approximately 80 Shore A. The polyurethane is bonded to the steel plates following Gallagher's proprietary bonding procedure. The steel plates are cleaned to remove any surface contaminants and then grit blasted to achieve an anchor pattern of at least 200 micro inch finish. The plates are coated with bonding agent and made ready for casting. The sample is cycled several times to achieve a steady state stress strain relationship before capturing the data. Strain rate is set such that the time per cycle is between 30 and 60 seconds. The shear modulus is calculated using the raw data from our testing machine and the shear modulus formula. The shear stress is calculated by taking the applied force, which we get from the testing machine, and dividing it by the calculated area. The calculated area is equal to the area of one polyurethane block times four to account for the four blocks that make up the quad shear specimen. The shear strain is found by taking half the displacement, which we get from the testing machine, and dividing that by the polyurethane block thickness. The displacement needs to be halved to account for the fact that displacement occurs equally in both directions. This is the stress strain curve for our test, with a line of best fit. The shear modulus is equal to the slope of this line, or approximately 470 PSI. This table shows the shear modulus of several Gallagher Corporation urethanes, ranging in hardness from 60 Shore A to 75 Shore D. In general, polyurethanes produce a much lower spring rate in shear than in compression. Thus, the modulus is much lower when force is applied in the X direction than when force is applied in the Y direction. We'll now apply compressive force to our quad shear specimen to find the compression modulus. The compression modulus is simply the ratio of compressive stress to compressive strain. For more on this, see another video of ours on compression modulus and how it is related to Young's modulus. This is the stress strain curve for our compression test, with a line of best fit. The compression modulus is equal to the slope of this line, or approximately 6,600 psi. The fact that the compression modulus is much larger than the shear modulus shows that polyurethanes are much stiffer in compression than in shear. Now, to demonstrate the principle of superposition, we are going to apply a 10,000 pound compressive preload to our quad shear specimen and rerun the shear modulus test. The preload is maintained during the shear test by four bolts that were tightened down, finger tight, when the sample was compressed. As you can see from the resulting graph, the shear modulus measured with the 10,000 pound preload is approximately 490 PSI. Since this is only a 4% increase over the shear modulus measured without the 10,000 pound preload, we can say that the principle of superposition is valid. By using polyurethanes in shear, a low spring rate can be achieved. The principle of superposition is useful to show that polyurethanes can be used in compression to support heavy loads and at the same time remain compliant in shear. Here at Gallagher Corporation, we're eager to hear about how we can put our polyurethane molding experience to work for you. If you have any polyurethane questions, please email us, call us, or visit our website.